Kazantsev helps it back in again and picked up Savenko. A little bit of time and pressure. Sends it off to his winger, which is Ivan Kisilyev. Kisilyev through into the goal zone. Gets a shot away. Oh, what a finish. Heads up. Play coming across the blue line. And he gets the first goal of the afternoon with 14.49 to go in the first period. Just over five minutes gone, and there, there, there you go. There you have the first goal for Ireland. And no less deserved the amount of pressure they've put on that net. But to be fair, there haven't been that many shots on the goal, but this one goes through a lovely little move out to the left-hand side. And a sweet little finish that goes into the back of the net. Ireland, one goal to the good. Here comes Kassiev, the goal scorer again. Into the zone. Round the outside, such a smooth skater, Paddy. Yeah. <laughs> I think they are, man. <laughs> I think the way that the way that they're playing, oh, the way that they're playing is just uh, dominant. The fact that they like I say, they're getting the space. The, the pass. So right oh, front, second yeah. goal of the afternoon. A great finish, but but Chuck, he stepped in off the wall. And it's fact, like I said, the, the actual passing is slick. It's so it's tape to tape. It's considered, and they're able to find that space. The way that the way he's able to skip right into the edge of the zone there, unchallenged and just had to pick a spot. You see that here, when the puck comes around the wall, time to control, lovely little backhand pass, no look, and into the back of the net. Shatikov dumps it in, goes round behind, we're gonna to go to Joel Neal at the end of the, at the next period break here, I'm sorry. Oh, it's oh come dear. off a glove in front, and that's 3 now, oh. but we'll get news of the second goal from Joel Neal. Yeah, Simon, as uh, as the as Arlan makes it 3-0, just the word of the second goal there, absolutely unstoppable finish from around the back of the net um, by Patajchuk. Um, fantastic assist on that goal from Konstantin Savenkov, someone who's been fantastic so far this weekend, and that's the end of Roman Bogorico's day. Face off one by Gomel. As I say, Patrick, this could be a long, long, long day for the Belarus team. Shot coming in, good. Save down low that time by... Mers love though. It was a lovely heads up play, trying to get a backhand right into the blue paint. It's oh. through the legs. And it's now 4-0. Oh dear, oh dear. Arlan, not even 12 minutes gone. And they're 4-0 up. Ah, what can you say? It's unfortunate for uh, unfortunate for Mers love. This comes right through his five hole. Goes out wide. He actually sets himself well to track the puck as it comes across the zone. But the shot comes in, and it just sort of bobbles through his five hole and in. It's a nice little backhand finish but he's going to be so disappointed with that and not be able to shut it down. He tracks it well. I think it was Dusan Devenek uh, against Katowice. He ended up collapsing behind the net there. He's, he left the ice and was held back on again, and he ended up finishing the game. But it was, I thought that was a, a bad hit by this man on the puck. Now you're Malayev. Kisilev comes in to help out, spins away from him. He can turn on a pivot. It reminds sort of, David pointed out yesterday, he sort of reminds you of Steve Thornton. It's in a bit of space, tries to get the shot away, back post. Oh, That's what a play. That's one of the best beauty. goals we're going to see this weekend. Wow. All created by Ivan Kislev. Fantastic goal. That's unbelievable. Like you say, the, the amount of time he had on the puck, the way he was able to turn on the sixpence and try to create that space. But the movement, the passing, and then pulling the goalkeeper so out of position that the actual finish was just academic. Lovely, lovely goal. Look at far, dragging the goalkeeper so far out of his crease and then putting a lovely pass in. That is, like you say, one of the goals of the tournament right there. Up ice is Slesny off. He tries to send it through. Bashnov just into the blue zone. Shots in behind the defence. There's going to be a penalty in the play. And this could be a penalty shot. It, it is. is indeed. We're going to see our first penalty shot off this tournament. Picks up, puck up at centre ice, slowly over the blue line. Inside, top of the circle. Oh, what finish. a finish. Great Love finish fish. again. Even upstairs. That's the sixth goal of the game on a penalty shot, this time by Alexander Nesterov. My apologies, Anton Petrov, his second goal of the game. Yes, lovely finish. Just took his time, waited, waited and waited for the goalkeeper to make his move and just lifts it over his shoulder into the back of the net. Starts up ice through centre ice and into the zone and makes a move around and sends a top hey. corner what a finish by Tochilkin Anton Tochilkin gets a round of applause for the fans that are in the arena this afternoon but it's got a great coast to coast goal a lovely goal and a really good reception from the Belfast Giants fans delighted to see this Gummel team take their first goal of the tournament coast to coast movement and maybe that's exactly what it needed that's sort of taking the game by the scruff of the neck but hi Chuck he's got a goal here this afternoon he settles things down behind his own net and there's it off 
to Casilli off little drop of the shoulder. Round one and another. And you just skate to kick it back on the stick again. Drop pass for Kuznikov who steps off after the chain. Sends it out the top of the circle. Shot coming oh, in. What a finish. finish. <laughs> again, another assist going to Casilli off. But Nestor off with the goal. 2.27 to go in the second period. Nestor just skating outside of the funnel cap circle. They're having loads of time. And just on the toe of the stick, it just lifts it across the extent of the goal. Lovely, lovely finish. And that makes it 7-1. You see there, just all the time. Lovely, lovely finish. Just whizzes past Markov and into the goal. Long stretch past the Shatikov. Now Shatikov into the zone. Round behind the net. Using the left leg to protect the puck. And again, lays that one off to the, the blue line. Bernikov takes the shot through. and. Borovikov trying to get the shot there, and it's in Lemem actually. I've just seen the red light coming on there. The goaltender didn't know much about that one. But okay, I think Borovikov may have got the last touch on that. Let's have a look at the replay here if we can. Shot from Bernikov at the blue line. Borovikov in behind the goal, sends it out front, comes oh, off the back of the goaltender's okay. pads. And that's his second goal off the tournament this weekend. A smart move by the veteran defenseman. He's been absolutely exemplary. He gets a poke check ahead of him in there. Now he gets a defense and a clearance off the line. Shatikov again. There's a back, there's a back pass comes through the blue paint and Patychuk was looking to get a tip on that. He's on the ice for a potential hat trick here. Gomel picked the puck up, exit the zone in nine seconds remaining. They maybe got a chance to get a shot away here. Muzienko looks for a backdoor shot coming in. And they get their second goal off the night. Lovely play by Muzienko. And if the game's going to finish 8-2. I have to say, the goalkeeper is absolutely fuming at that move, and rightly so. We said about how Ireland had shut down. It seems that that's the case, because look how quick Gomel just break out of the zone. Heads up play, looks across, I sees his man. Lovely pass right across the front of goal, and that's only going one place once it reaches the stick. Well, to be honest, Kazantsev was flat-footed there on that blue yep. line. You know, the big man's not doing enough to get back and cover that Musienko's speed. Beat him to the outside. And a great finish there to four seconds on the clock. And that's going to finish us at this game. 8-2 to Arlan Patrick. There's not many times in the Belfast Ice you see a 10-goal game, mate. But you know, it was entertaining enough. But like I say, you know, interesting. The, penny for the thoughts of the Arlan goalkeeper on that final one. He was fuming. Oh, oh. A little bit of afters here. Not too happy that's with interesting. what happened there. And again, that's going to do us for the end of the game. And a comfortable game. The referee... Having a chat here, maybe a couple of minor penalties handed out, but obviously no point in that. And oh, he's still angry. He's still angry about it. And again, he's coming back there to have a conversation. Yes. 